Welcome to another IEHU NG tutorial. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to automatically remediate an incident detected by Logic Monitor, a leading cloud-based infrastructure monitoring platform. Let's start with an animated overview of the tutorial we're about to see. Logic Monitor is configured in our environment to keep an eye on various systems, such as Microsoft IIS. When it detects a problem in IIS, Logic Monitor will generate an alert. IEHU NG will intercept that alert and begin its automated remediation workflow by creating a ticket in ServiceNow and querying ServiceNow CMDB to determine the IIS owner. Next, it will contact that owner via Slack and offer multiple options for remediating the problem. The IIS owner's choice in Slack is returned to IEHU, which then automatically executes the chosen option. As the remediation is executing, IEHU automatically documents every activity and its result in the ServiceNow ticket it opened earlier. When done, IEHU closes out the ServiceNow ticket, completing the automated remediation. Let's start by manually stopping an application pool in IIS via RDP to simulate a real-world incident. This incident will trigger an alert by Logic Monitor. Switching over to the Logic Monitor screen, we see that it did indeed detect a problem. The alert it generated was picked up by IEHU through a back-end API integration. IEHU then began its automated remediation, and here we see the Slack message it sends to the IIS owner. The message includes some details from the alert, as well as a link to the ServiceNow ticket IEHU automatically created. At the bottom, it offers the owner three button options to choose from. Let's choose Collect Server Diagnostics. In response, IEHU collects information like CPU usage, memory used, and other critical diagnostics. When done collecting the critical diagnostic information, IEHU displays it in Slack for the IIS owner. Once again, it offers three button options to choose from at the bottom. Since we see IIS is running, the problem must reside with the application pool, so let's restart it. Slack responds with IEHU's message confirming it is restarting the application pool. After the application pool is up and running, Slack displays some reference information from IEHU, along with a link to the completed ServiceNow ticket. Let's click the link and take a closer look at that ServiceNow ticket. As we can see, the host name generated by Logic Monitor's alert has been dynamically inserted into the configuration item field, and Slack was input into the contact type field. The ticket state was also marked as resolved. Further down, we see both description fields appropriately filled. In the activities area of the notes section, we can see IEHU captured and documented all the interactions between the IIS owner and Slack. Switching back over to Logic Monitor, we see IEHU acknowledged the alert and updated it with a cross-reference to the ServiceNow ticket number where remediation of the underlying incident was documented. Now let's go to the IEHU Workflow Designer and take a closer look at how this automation was orchestrated. The first activity in our workflow is creating a ticket in ServiceNow. IEHU's ServiceNow integration makes it easy to automatically create, update, and close out tickets. IEHU can also integrate with BMC Remedy, ShareWell, Jira, Heat, or any ITSM platform you prefer. In this example, we took information from the Logic Monitor alert and dynamically inserted it into the appropriate fields on the ServiceNow form. 
Next, we perform a false positive test by dynamically passing the application pool's name and host name from the logic monitor alert into the activity to determine if it's really down. If the application pool is not down, we branch right on our if else control activity. We then acknowledge the alert in Logic Monitor as well as close out the ServiceNow record. If the application pool has stopped and it's definitely not a false positive, then we branch left. Here, we'll update the ServiceNow record, then query the CMDB to determine the Slack ID of the host machine's owner. We use the Slack ID of the host machine's owner to initiate a new conversation with them in Slack. We display to them in Slack all the information seen earlier in the demo, as well as some options in the form of buttons. Based on their button selection, we'll then branch accordingly down this new if-else control activity. If the host machine owner chose the option to collect diagnostics, we'll check on the status of IIS, collect CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, and grab the OS build. The collected diagnostic information is then sent back to the host machine owner via the active Slack conversation, as well as inserted into the notes section of the ServiceNow ticket. If the host machine owner chose the option to restart the application pool, we go down the middle branch. First, we send a message via Slack that we're starting up the application pool, and then we initiate the restart process. If the restart is successful, we branch left on another if-else activity control. We update the ServiceNow ticket about the successful restart, acknowledge the alert in Logic Monitor, and of course send a message to the host machine's owner via Slack. If for some reason restart of the application pool was unsuccessful, we branch right. We update the ServiceNow ticket about the unsuccessful restart, acknowledge the alert in Logic Monitor, and also insert the error code which the unsuccessful restart generated. Finally, we inform our host machine's owner via message sent through Slack. Let's return once more to our RDP session and check our application pool. It looks like Ayehu successfully restarted it. This concludes our tutorial on how to automate remediation of incidents detected by Logic Monitor. For more information, please visit our support portal at support.ayehu.com.